of the Aurora and carrying case. The Gucci's a lot of fun. They even bring Cora here. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. Pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learn quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. I know you could save everything, but don't beat yourself up. It would have been an unfair expectation to think you could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. There are two things you don't do in Neon. One, you don't mess with baby. But now for you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. A second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Mm, 
credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. Spilling credits is always better than spilling blood. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> That's saying something. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Epside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Walking. This is private property. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, this will get you in. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it, but make no mistake. That's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Ah, you have a point there. One never knows when a favor from the Rangers might come in handy. Very well. You can tell Mr. Clayton that the debt is forgiven, and I'll trouble him no longer. You better watch it.
steak fish for dinner one more time. Goodman. Well, have you got any proof? When a ranger says they're gonna do something, they do it. Now start talking. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. Spoil my day. A free star ranger and his. What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So, how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Yes, I jacked the ship. But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship. I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. Look, they didn't tell me what they were gonna do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's... 
It's not that simple. I'd like to think so. Not happening. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Maybe we can work something out. This isn't getting us anywhere. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. Sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh... You're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Okay. Hello. Be careful out there. These mercenaries. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. We gotta look out for each other. Us crate rats used to think the ebbside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for uh, being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. But with the disciples and all, I have a heart. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery. Good work, deputy. Talk to Ranger Shadid at the Rock. He should be able to help.
become. Dad, do you think Solomon Cove would have liked me? Sure. Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked me? copy of the key. All right, let's get back to that. Well, that's it then. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper. You got to drop some of that. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Maybe. <sighs> Fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, a uh, code tradition. All right, shall we?
I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Well, and your ship that landed not too long ago? Sure is something. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. Don't be... Hold it right there. This was You're mistake. under arrest. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Smart move. Now come along with us. We'll take any contraband and stolen property, and you'll be free to go. Drunk and disorderly is our number. Sam Luda's ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co property by birthright, it stays here. Well, it's not your place to butt in. You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Stop trying to confuse me. I'm not flapping my jaw one more second over this. The answer's no. What do you want, Constellation? Yeah, that's right. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. Thank you. 
had enough of your life. I want the both of you out of my house. Happy to. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Me too. But there's no help in it. We're gonna have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave. Taking a walk is a full body workout here. Glad to see you don't mind getting your hands dirty.
was a good one.
Spelunking can be a lot of fun. Nature can be just beautiful. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. <laughs> Don't try to distract me. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. Nobody wants that. I haven't agreed to anything yet. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Found one! Hit Hit them. Them. Oh, now! Boss, it's the Ashton! Damn it! Just shoot everything!
scanningly go. 